Phoebe Chung Chua, thanks for tuning in. We are um, at a really cool spot. Uh, many of you know that I have a site called The Plant-Based Diet, and um, I just love organic produce. I love anything that has to do with farms and going from farm to table. But we all know that when you go to the grocery store and you try to do that, that's pretty tough. Um, it just doesn't happen, you know, if you've ever tried like their tomatoes, they usually taste like cardboard. <laughs> they don't taste like they taste on a farm. So I wanna show you around because there's some very cool things here. These, like I said, orange is my favorite, but we've got um, artichokes, right? And Brussels sprouts, really good stuff. And this is all packaged um, at a place called The Daily Harvest, and then this is going to be delivered straight to your home. So it's really cool, it's a cool concept. You get lots of different produce and um, cool stuff in here, celery's in here, so come on along, Chris, I'm gonna take them around a little bit. And just talk to you about all the greens, you know, because if you're like me, you go to the store once a week and you end up with, you know, produce that ends up going bad a lot a lot of times that's because it's packaged up in those plastic bags and and it's not as fresh as it could be but again here we've got some apples really really cool stuff and over here my favorite you gotta have a bunch of greens in your diet and why we're out here is we're talking to the owners and we're talking a little bit about why they started this how important it is to bring produce into your life on a daily basis. So I'm gonna ask Janice to join me. Janice, come on in. Hi, Hi. how Hello. are you? Good. Good, great. Thanks. So tell me about what you started here. It's really remarkable. Thank you. Um, we started this as an outlet to help farms here in our area to be able to sell their produce outside the farmer's market where they typically are selling it. You know what, and I go to a lot of farmer's markets. My brother, in fact, invented an app called M Foodie. You can find it on iTunes um, at the App Store. But um, the thing about it is that farmers have trouble getting the community to those farmer's markets a lot of the time. Yes. And then getting them to actually purchase and bring it home. And you know, it, it, there's, there's sort of a disconnect because yes. not everybody has time to go to the farmer's market. Correct. So that's why we started this as another means so people can just go to our online farmer's market and order at their desktop and then we source it and pack it for them and bring it to right to their door or to their workplace. All right, so in a box, it, it varies each week, right? Yeah. Yeah, it varies with what is seasonally available from our farms. And um, we partner with probably about 13 different farms that we work with. So that gives our box a nice variety of produce. We, um, and then when we, we get it on Tuesdays and we pack it up and deliver it Wednesday and Thursday throughout the county of San Diego. And they get a box, it's every week it's delivered or in they a couple can, weeks? They can choose. Okay. So it, we've tried to make our site be as flexible yeah. as possible to fit everyone's needs. So people can choose um, every week or every other week. They can choose mm -hmm. one time and just shop and pick as they want and build their own box. And Janice, so, your website is? DailyHarvestExpress.com. Daily okay, yes. all right, very good. But you know, one of the other reasons I'm out here is because a lot of times um, businesses need to make sure that they're protected um, you know, at all times and need to make sure that there aren't gaps in their insurance. When you are running a company like this, there's many different things that can go wrong, right? Yes. Yeah. So you've actually started working with American National and I want to ask Jen to come on in. Jennifer. Hi. Hi. So Jennifer's with American National and Jennifer, tell us a little bit about how you two have worked together to protect Janice's business. Yeah, so we were able to be connected through our regional and we were able to come in, take a look at how she was currently insured, see where we could fill in the gaps and see if we were able to save her some money, which we were, I think, about 25% or so. Nice. 
Yeah, so you told me that this makes a big difference. It gives you peace of mind. Um, your company's been around since 2013, I think you said. Yes. yes. And there's just times when maybe you didn't even know, right? Like, it, how did it help having Jennifer from American National come in and explain things to you? Well, you know, you don't know about insurance when you're not an insurance <laughs> agent, and this is the business that we work on. Right. And so we're focused on this, so it's important to have professionals outside that are helping you and educating you and informing you and giving you a hand in areas that we're not skilled in. Insurance is her business and she obviously takes it really seriously. And But even more than the great insurance is the peace of mind that we have someone that we can work with in the event that something comes up and we need insurance. Insurance is something you need and you hope you never have to use. That's right. But um, it's so it's important to know that if you have to use it, it'll that, work when it's yeah. It'll that work it when you need it for sure. And that you don't go, oh, I didn't have that part covered. That's right. You know, but then it's also important to save money. Mm -hmm. And so, as a small business, we count pennies. I mean, we just sell fruit. Right. Right. It's small. We 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 our business is nickels and dimes it's not dollars <laughs> and so for us it's really important every penny counts yeah. so when they could come in and save us on our auto and um, commercial policies you know so a few thousand bucks I think yeah I it think was, we were able to increase your coverages as well and right? increase the coverage yeah. that it just was it truly is a liability exposure Yes. So what, what I've really learned in, in speaking with these two ladies is that there's a lot of areas where there can be gaps and you might as a business owner might not even know about that. So it's important to have that professional review done by a reputable company like American National. But it also gave you such peace of mind and she can focus on this. And as many of you know, I host a business podcast called The Brand Journalism Advantage. And we talk about this. We talk about ways to use experts out in the field so that you can get back to business doing what you love. And this is something that was born out of her love. I mean, you, you were unemployed at a point, and then you, yeah. you had this great idea, and you said, hey, I want to make a difference. I want to make an impact in the community. Plus, you're getting you know, great produce yeah. to people's homes. And now you have that peace of mind to concentrate on that. So yes. that's fabulous. That's really helpful yeah. to be able to do that so I can do this. Yeah, so the key is as business owners, sometimes we forget, I mean myself, a business owner, we get so involved in all of it that we think we can handle all of it, we know all of it, we don't. We have experts in different areas to come in and help with that and that's vital that you use those resources, that you use the free resources like the podcast that we put on, like the Facebook Lives that we do, so that you can get this information and decide for yourself who are the experts I need to talk to and how will it improve my business and give me peace of mind. So. With that, they promised that I could taste <laughs> oh, one of these because yeah. you, I got to tell you, I really am not a fan of tomatoes, oh. in, in, not not in general, but I mean, yeah. I don't really buy them at the grocery store anymore because of this reason. So she promises that right. <laughs> it's a different experience. So, all right, let me grab a little. And then you can have your orange for dessert. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I love my oranges. Uh huh. Mmm. What do you think? Mm, eyebrows? Eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, seriously, that is great. Mm -hmm. Really this good. This is something you could eat for breakfast. Oh, 